No, it's not arts and crafts day here. This is actually the low tech first step of a high tech process to upgrade the look of your swim platform with Marine Mat. Still spraying, so lots of shrink wrap, but they're getting more and more popular, right? Absolutely. Why is that? Uh, it's just a better material. It stays a lot cooler in the sun compared to other materials. It's new. A lot of the OEMs are starting to use it now, so it's becoming very, very popular. The template ends up here in Oldsmar, Florida, at Marine Mat headquarters, northwest of Tampa. The first step is they use this funky magic box to turn the plastic template into a digital template. You've got a whack of color options to choose from, too, but the teak look is the most popular. And then the robots take over. Once a human puts all the info in and sets it up, of course. You can get a snap-in or stick-on option. For a swim platform, stick-on is the only way to go, but this is a cool option for cockpits. And then it's all packaged up and sent back to you. You need the platform clean, so get the dirt off first, and then rub the entire surface down with acetone to make sure there's no grease or sunscreen or anything that'll mess up the seal. So basically, you have to make sure everything lines up, which it looks like a fairly decent fit. So obviously, we did a fairly decent job of <laughs> templating. <laughs> That'd be my rap name, <laughs> fairly decent, dropping his new LP. And then when you get to a situation like this, you want to make sure you've got a decent center line, because as you're looking down mm -hmm. the planks, you want everything to line up 100% correct. Right. So juggle a piece like this, where you know it's going to be in front of another piece and then line that up first, and then you can work your way out from the center line, both, both port to starboard. Right, so yeah, because we want like, like this line to match up with there, Continuous. Right? right, so now what we do is just rip this off and slap her down? Yeah, and then basically yeah. once you get the one little section down, you know it's not gonna move on you. You can fold it over, peel the rest of the backing off, lay and then down. just lay it down. That's awesome. If you don't have a roller, you're doing it yourself, just get on the platform and just start standing on different areas just to make sure you've got enough pressure okay. that's kind of cleared out any air bubbles underneath it. As exciting as that was for TV, we don't need to show you peeling all the rest of them off. And you said this is the most common selection of colors. But that's right. There's a whole whack of other stuff. And if you don't believe me, uh, I saw some sneak peeks of what they're able to do. It's pretty cool. Check this out. 